welcome to Physical Electronics, episode 8. So, today's episode is going to be quite simple, kind of quick. I'm not feeling the greatest today. But, um, I, I'll get a video up. So, anyway, this week I'm going to show you a NAND synth using the 4093 quad NAND gate synth. So, basically, pull the camera off here. It's not going to be easy to see because of the sun. Sorry about that. But, anyway. Uh, it's going to be really hard for you to see. But basically, there's three potentiometers. Or th three potentiometers and then another one on the board to control the voltage that it gets. Going through an LM386 amplifier that I built really quick. And powered by a 9 volt battery. Pretty simple. Goes out into my stereo like all my other ones do. I can play it on the onboard speaker on the uh, electronics learning lab, but I'll just go with it as is through the stereo so it's easier to hear. Um, so I'll just give you a quick demonstration and explain a little bit. Keep this video a little bit shorter this week. Uh, I think I'm getting sick, so... I'm going to make one really quick and then probably go to sleep or something. So first, I hook up the power to the actual synth, which goes like this. And you can, you can maybe hear that in the background. This is without the LM386 amp. When this kicks in, now you can hear it. So, <clears throat> that was just a quick little, uh, like, three-minute demonstration. Uh, definitely really fun to play with. So, um, let's see, I'll unhook it from here. Kind of explain a little bit better. Get it all the sun. But basically, okay, swap it. Basically, it all goes with that 4093 chip that's still really hard to see. And, uh... Then there's basically, I think, I see four capacitors, like three or four resistors. I just have an indicator LED on here, a couple of switches. This is a potentiometer that controls the voltage. It actually controls the voltage on the, uh, that the actual chip is getting, which can really produce some cool effects when you, uh, mess with the resistance. So that's a 10K, this one then... There's a 100k potentiometer, a 1 meg ohm potentiometer, and a 500k potentiometer. A lot of wiring. 
it's not terribly complex, it's just hooking a lot of stuff up right. And because this is a digital logic chip, if you've never messed with digital logic before, you have to ground yourself uh, before you work on, preferably using like a wrist strap or something while you're working. I don't have one of those yet anyway, so uh, I basically just go and touch a metal pipe or something, remove all the static electricity from my body, and then they're safe to work with. It won't harm you, it'll harm the chip, the static electricity will. So that's basically it for this week. I'll post the schematic, or a link to the schematic probably. Um, very fun. There's a lot of stuff you can do with logic gates and stuff. I'll try and get some more logic stuff up. Uh, you can do some really cool things with those, with logic gates and whatnot. And I'll also try and get up a couple more. I'm mean, gonna try and get into op amps. Uh, and there's some other stuff that I, I've definitely got content to make a lot more of these videos. So, uh, th this sorry, this week's a little bit shorter. I have a lot of other projects going on too, like this Jewel Thief and stuff. If it works out great, I'll show it to you. But, that's going to do it for this week. Hope you have a nice weekend. Go go build something, have fun with some electronics. Have fun with, a, have fun with your uh, 4093 Nansynth if you choose to build it. So, I hope you have a nice day. See you later.